Hello everybody, my name is Sirk and welcome back to Underground, my single player Let's Play series. Check it out guys. The funk, so brother, I don't know what the lyrics are, something like that. <laughs> Check it out now. Yes, anyways, funk soul brother, that's what it is. I always say funk soul, so, S-O, instead of soul. Anyways, doesn't matter. So, I've been doing some work on uh, our hall of subscribers here. Last time, I didn't have it quite set up, but I had it up to here. Or I didn't have it caught up all the way, but I had it up to here. Since then, I have dug out four more giant sections and uh, I got it pretty much caught up uh, as of like last night and it goes up to here and I wish I could uh, go through here and show you guys I know if I just move at normal speed like you can't read that <laughs> but if I go like this it's so slow it's still really jerky too but uh, yeah we have lots of new names here I actually just reached 2800 subscribers so thank you guys so much I love this hallway this hallway is amazing I don't know exactly how many names we have in here now uh it's probably like 23 2400 now uh but it is just it's so cool to look down and see everyone who has subscribed or most people who have subscribed it's just a great feeling and this is what i wanted from this i wanted it just to be this massive haul and uh yeah we gotta keep going on it we gotta keep going it definitely it takes work and it's and so far i mean I was behind by like a month, I think, <laughs> when I put these names in, uh, and I was able to get that in pretty easily, and we still have two big sections left of this four sections that I made, uh, so we should be able to keep doing this for a while, um, you know, eventually, hopefully, <laughs> I, sh I should say, hopefully, uh, someday we won't be able to keep up with this, and then sadly, the I don't know what I'm going to do then, the hall will end or something. Uh, do some sort of monument at the end that'd be kind of cool but that is not today and probably not anytime soon <laughs> as of now I can still keep up with uh, the number of incoming subscribers so very cool thank you guys so much anyways today what we're gonna do we're gonna go on a journey a very long journey I have to dig so many blocks so many blocks I just uh, repaired a whole bunch of picks I uh, got Lots of extra picks. I got some stuff in my ender chest. We are going to dig uh, like five, th I guess it's actually 6,000 because we're at, yeah, we're at a thousand blocks this way and I need to go to minus 5,000 that way. Uh, we, we, we want to go find a mesa and, oh, I still need to fix this. Had a little fire damage. I think I repaired the fire, but I haven't uh, fixed the logs there. Luckily, signs don't seem to burn, and I was smart enough to put these on blocks that do not burn. So we, we won't lose any signs if there is a fire outbreak. But, um, yes, I mentioned, I don't know if it was last time, I think it was two episodes ago, uh, kind of our first episode of the year. I'd mentioned that I want to do some things to make this series a little bit more fun and enjoyable for myself. One of them is we need more block choices, which means I want to go to the Mesa and get some clay. Now we still don't have a lot of dye colors. We have like blue, light blue, um, the black, gray, uh, white, light gray, uh, yellow, red, orange, and I guess purple and magenta we could get too. But we don't have, the main colors we don't have are brown and green, I guess. <laughs> so we have most of them, but we don't have brown and green. Um, so we'll still be limited somewhat. I guess we don't have cyan either, which is really sad. I love the cyan clay and cyan wool. But, um, but um, yeah, so I went on a midst. I just used midst to figure out where the closest mesa is. And it is 6,000 blocks this way. And I'm wondering if I should grab these resources. I don't think I will, unless I see diamonds. Uh, we can always come back and get this stuff. I have extra torches in my ender chest, but I'll probably run out, which the worst part about this is if I run out of stuff, I'm going to have to run all the way back, which is not fun. But anyways, I'm going to get digging. We're going to get out to the mesa. We're going to get some clay, and then uh, I might talk about some stuff uh, about my channel while we're getting clay. Um, and we might... We might go to the ocean as well, because I have something I want to do in the ocean. But anyways, I got some digging to do. 
So I made it about 1500 blocks so far, and I found something interesting. We got a zombie dungeon, and this is a new zombie dungeon because we got some beetroot seeds. Uh, and in the other chest, there's something special. At least I'm pretty sure it's special. Look at this golden apple. It's a notch apple, and uh, they took out the crafting recipe for these. I'm fairly certain. I remember reading something about that. So the only way to find them is in chess. So that is kind of cool. I uh, got something special here. So I'm going to uh, drop off some stuff. I've been kind of leaving chests randomly, or not randomly, but whatever my inventory fills up, I leave chests. Because I don't, I don't like leaving stuff on the ground. <laughs> I really don't so I'm just gonna fill up these chests with stuff if I ever need it I can come back for it <clears throat> um, And any like special stuff. I've been sticking in my ender chest. So Yes, there we go That right there is a very very long tunnel uh, But look at this hit f3. We are in ocean biome river and Mesa we have reached it. We've gotten to the Mesa Minus 4,600, 600, or 600 minus 4,600. Oh, man. So now we can start digging up. <laughs> that took a while. It took a lot of digging. Uh, there's a lot of chests along the along the way. Um, I did find one more spawner. I also died once, which was very sad. <laughs> I got down to... Um, I got down to half a heart. And so I was actually heading back because I didn't bring any health potions with me. And uh, on my way back, I ran into a room with uh, a couple of skeletons that finished me off. So I had to run back. Uh, luckily, I mean, it was actually kind of nice because <laughs> I had to run back anyways uh, to get the health potions. So that way, I, you know, I got teleported back and I could just, uh, um, just could run back, get my stuff and everything was, everything was fine. We got a nice cave here. Uh, but we got a mission. We've got to find this clay. Should I just keep staircasing up? Ooh. Hi, guys. I'm going to just keep staircasing up. <laughs> I don't want to deal with any mobs right now. The world is just having some issues. Look at that tunnel. Having some issues, but that's all right. Let's just keep going up. We are still in Mesa. So that's good. Uh, we're at level 40. So we still have a ways before we actually get to the clay. Uh, but we are getting closer. So close I can almost taste it. Here it is. I think I just heard something. What was that? That was weird. Oh, oh gosh. That's that's the ground. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is the problem with this whole going or digging up clay thing, is we I wanna stay underground. Uh, so we have to make sure to try and be underground. So that's the edge of like this mountain So that means if we dig up here Which where is this clay? <laughs> I know it spawns underground. There we go Clay we got some orange clay here fantastic So I, I don't know should I just make a little room right here? Um, I did bring stuff to make a portal back so we don't have to run all the way we can get into the nether and uh, take a quick trip back. Well, I did some digging around and we're pretty close to the surface here. So I started digging this way and I think I ran into the surface up there or water or something. So then I dug this way and I think I ran into the surface or water or something. Uh, so then I dug this way and uh, I was trying to just find a good spot where it's actually nice and tall. Uh, I ran into the surface there so I went this way and finally found a spot over here that is really nice, way down here. And in fact, all of this might be good. Uh, we do have some nice uh, normal hardened clay, which is really good. Uh, and then I found a cave system over here, which is a fairly good indication. It means that uh, we actually have some ground above us so we can do some digging without having to worry about breaking into the above ground. Uh, we even have this. It goes up actually really far. Right here. That does not open to the uh, uh, to the ground, to the surface. So we have a lot of space. I have a lot of ver vertical space here that we can uh, take stuff out of. So we're going to be digging around this area right now. And while we do some digging, while we do some collecting, I wanted to talk about the channel a little bit, what's going on. 
uh, and get some input from you guys if you have any. Uh, so let's make some chests, drop off some of the clay that I've already dug out. Uh, I really want to get some of the hardened clay, which, by the way, I, before I said that uh, we were missing the brown and green clay, but that's not true. We're actually, I think we the only clays we can't use is the green clay, green and lime green, because we're going to have brown from the mesa here, which is kind of nice. So let's just drop all this stuff off, and we can just uh, fill up our inventory of mostly the this clay, the normal hardened clay. So lately I've been trying to stick to a schedule, uh, at least a very rough schedule. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Um, basically, uh, underground, I mean this is the third episode in a row now on a Sunday, isn't it? Or did I miss that first day? I don't remember. But I'm trying to make underground every Sunday. I uh, had made that promise um, a while ago, but kind of had trouble sticking to it. Uh, and then we kind of had a little hiatus for um, a month or so before we like kind of restarted this year. But uh, yeah, I want underground to be every Sunday have a weekly episodes so you guys can have some of this cool single player stuff. I want to build cool stuff. Uh, I really want to kind of try and work on it throughout the week so that we can get a lot of things done, or at least a decent amount done. Uh, and pretty soon, I think next episode, I'm going to try and find a nice spot in the nether so that we can start building out there. And I have some pretty go good ideas. I don't think I'm going to go over them right now. Maybe next week we can go over a few of the ideas. But basically, I want to start over on a base. I want to build in the nether, and I want to make lots of like cool farms and automations in the nether so that we can have everything all together. And I should set down this and maybe get some torches if I have any. I don't have any torches. I've used up all my torches. Oh, no. All right. Well, that's fine. We'll just try and stick close to the cave because I have lit up the cave pretty nicely. Um... So yeah, underground is going to be every Sunday, and then that leaves me six days for the rest of the week. Uh, I want to do two castaways videos a week, and I was going to do three wind crafts. I think I might put that back to two wind crafts a week. Uh, three is a little difficult having every other day, especially now that I've kind of caught up in levels uh, to like the quest that I'm doing. So I actually have to be doing a bit of leveling sometimes between uh, episodes so uh, I'll probably do two episodes of Windcraft and then the other two days um, well a lot of you have been asking about Creativerse and uh, originally when I made my schedule I was gonna do like an episode of Creativerse a week but things have happened not well not really things have happened but I've kind of decided that Creativerse is going bye bye for now <laughs> Uh, and I, I'll make a Creativerse episode. There should be one out tomorrow. I haven't done it yet, but I am going to make kind of a final episode tomorrow. So if you are interested in that series, make sure to check that out. Uh, but there's various reasons why that's stopping, and I'll talk about that in the Creativerse episode. Uh, I don't want to be doing that right now. Uh, great game. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to come back to it later, but right now I just want to focus on other things. So I still have two extra days, and there is going to be a new series coming up that I hope you guys uh, enjoy. I think you guys will be excited. I'm not going to say anything about it, except that it will be a fun new series. <laughs> uh, so that's kind of the schedule. It's not a very strict schedule. Like, it's not Castaways will be Monday, Thursday, and uh, Windcraft will be Tuesday, Friday. It'll kind of be whenever I feel like, <laughs> but I do want to shoot for doing uh, two videos, um, or yeah, two videos of Castaways, two episodes of Castaways a week, and two episodes of Windcraft, and two episodes of the other series a week to fill out the other six days. So we have those six videos, and that's more of a goal. It might turn out that I, I only have one episode of each, or one episode of one of them, if I'm like busy and don't have time to do it um but we should still have daily videos because i do right now i have don't starve shipwrecked going up every other day and that's going to continue for a little bit i think the life that i'm on right now uh is going to be my last life uh once i die which hopefully hopefully we can last for a little while uh we just entered the uh terrible hurricane weather season which 
I'm a little worried about, but uh, I think we'll be able to last for a little bit. We're still pretty well set up. Uh, but that, it's going to be my last uh, life on there. And then I want to start getting into some other games. And uh, this is one thing I've been thinking about a lot lately. Uh, I, I really like playing different games, but usually when I play a game, I always want to make a series out of it. I, want, I like having long-standing series. And the problem with that is I just don't have time. I got too many Minecraft series. I mean, right now I got Castaways Underground, Windcraft... And then I'm going to have the the next series as well. So um, basically what I want to do is start doing some more like short series, short little like showcases, like Cirque showcases. <laughs> I don't I don't know if I'm going to really have a real title to it. But uh, if you have any ideas uh, for a title of like uh, a series of short series, I guess, <laughs> is basically what I, what I want to have. Um, what I want to do is, like, after Don't Starve is done, I'm going to pick another game, and I'm going to play that game every other day, and it'll kind of take Don't Starve's spot, and we'll do, it's going to, like, at the beginning of the series, I'll be like, you know, we're going to play five episodes, or we're going to play ten episodes of this, and that's going to be it. Uh, it's just going to be a very short series, we're going to get a nice taste of the game. Um, how long we play is going to depend on what type of game. You know, if it's a very simple game, uh, we could just do five episodes or maybe we'll even do some one-offs here and there. Uh, if it's a really simple game, just do a little one-off video. Uh, but it'll just be a short series. And once, you know, once we do five or ten episodes, then that'll be it. And we'll move on to the next game. Um, and if I guess if you guys really enjoy it and if I really enjoy it, maybe we can make it a staple. But again, I'm not looking for any like long term series. We have too many right now and I don't have any t open time slots. Um, I want to keep my channel uh, more simple and not have, you know, eight series going on at a time. I don't think I've ever had eight, but I have had like six or seven and it's rough, you know, you just, you never get those videos, which is why I really want to try and get, like, two episodes of Castaways a week and, you know, two episodes of my main series a week just to make sure that they're, uh, they keep coming and you guys get the videos that you enjoy watching. Um, so, yeah, that's what's going to happen. We're going to have some short series. And I might even, you know, once we get started on this, I might even create, like, straw polls uh, for... When we finish a game and we're looking for the next game, I'll just uh, come up with a list of games and you guys can choose what you want to see next. I think it'll be a lot of fun to get to play different games and uh, just have some fun, really. I, like, I, I just want to have some fun playing uh, different video games and check them out. So that should be pretty cool. Um, I think that's about it for the channel. I'm still working on some new art stuff. Uh, I kind of got busy this last week. Like, I got some mock-ups for a new thumbnail layout, and I started some ideas for, like, banner and logo, but uh, then I got busy working on some other stuff. But I have a lot of vacation time to use up by the end of uh, January, which is this week. So, actually, I have this week mostly off. Uh, so, I'll be... I have a lot of free time, and I should be able to get that channel art done. So hopefully this week you guys will get to see my new channel art. Uh, hopefully I get to see it. <laughs> uh, I don't really have a lot of ideas yet, but I'm looking forward to kind of redesigning everything. It needs a new look. It's starting to get stale. Uh, that's one thing with my channel this year is I definitely, uh, you know, we're getting up. We're almost to 3,000 subscribers, and I want to keep that momentum up. And... Uh, so this year, like, I really want to focus on working on my channel and improving my channel, making sure that it's something that you guys enjoy and find entertaining. So, um, I'm all, I'm all about, uh, keeping away this, anything that's stale and just freshening things up every once in a while. So yeah, that's, that's kind of what's been going on. Uh, also I do have, I did a special event with the castaways, uh, yesterday. So those videos will be coming up soon. And I think you guys will find those pretty entertaining as well. Should be a lot of fun. So anyways, I'm going to uh, dig some of this up some more. Uh, probably just fill up a couple of chests here. And then I'll make, a, I'll make a portal and we can get into the nether. Head back home. 
Well, I dug up quite a bit. I got an inventory full of clay, and I grabbed uh, at least a few of every color. We got a bunch of clay in there as well. So let's head into the nether. Let's see where this takes us. I'm pretty sure we're too far away for it to send us to one of our portals. Because uh, I think you'd have to be within a thousand blocks, and we're like 5,000 blocks away. Oh, it put us up above. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, this is definitely not where I would like to be. Hmm. <laughs> well, I'm gonna, I don't want to use the, uh, the clay to bridge, so I'm gonna go grab some cobble. I should have stacks and stacks of that somewhere nearby. Okay, so I have a path all the way back to our nether hub, and I was looking at this area. This might actually be a good area to build our nether base in. Like, I want something nice and big and open, and this is definitely open. I really hate nether fog. Why do, why do we have nether fog? Why would they get rid of bedrock fog but keep this stupid nether fog? Uh, we should trade. I want to trade. That's what I want to do. Give me back bedrock fog. Get rid of this nether fog. And yeah, we can't see too far. I do have my render distance up to 16, and even if we put it up higher, I don't think, yeah... The nether fog doesn't change at all, so we don't get to see anything more. That's the only problem with building in the nether. But uh, anyways, I got a big load of clay. Let's put it back down to 16, I guess. And we can head back. Um, and yeah, I'll have to come back here. Maybe do a little perimeter around this lava lake. Kind of explore around. I do have some requirements that I'd like for the nether base. Uh, both in the nether and in the overworld. Like in the nether, obviously I want a big open space like this. Uh, it'd also be nice to have some sort of nether fortress nearby, especially if there was one with uh, like dual blaze spawners. That would be ideal. <laughs> uh, and then in the overworld, it'd be nice if we had um, like spawners that we could get nearby. Um, although, one thing nice about being in the nether is that like the spawners could be 100 blocks away. But in the nether, or I guess if they were 80 blocks away, that's a little bit easier. In the nether, they'd only be 10 blocks away. So you could have multiple portals going to the spawners. Um, or, you know, they could be 800 blocks away. And 100 blocks isn't really that long uh, to have a couple of portals at. But anyways, I'm going to head back and uh, get this uh, clay delivered. You know, I've been thinking about what to do behind this portal here. And also... We got rid of our pallet room a long time ago. I don't know if you know what that was. <laughs> but basically it was a room with all of the uh, collection of blocks that we have available to us in Underground. Um, and it was a nice thing to have because we don't have every single block. So it's a nice way to look at what we actually do have and see what kind of things we can use. And I was wondering, maybe I should put it back here. That might be kind of interesting. We definitely have the space. Uh, we can dig this out a bit more. But I did place down all the different colors of stuff that we have. Uh, so we have all these clays now, which is fantastic, along with the uh, the wools. So we don't have any greens or cyan or lime green. Um, and we don't have brown wool or brown glass, but we do have brown stained clay, so that's kind of cool. So those are our choices for what kind of blocks we want to use. Very nice. Very nice indeed. But I think that is where we're going to end off today. Uh, we'll have to wait to go to an ocean. Um, I would like to start building or at least planning some stuff out next episode. So I don't know if we'll do it next time. But soon. We'll definitely go out to the ocean soon. But I hope you have enjoyed another episode of Underground. We will see you next time. Goodbye, peoples.